What's up guys, Thomas back for another video. And today we're doing a quick review and unboxing of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. All right guys, this is pretty near and dear to my heart. I'm an 80s and 90s child. And once this thing came out, I knew I gotta have it. So I got this in the mail a couple of days ago. It actually was a gift. And I was just pretty surprised that I got one. So let's talk a little bit about this uh, Super NES as I call it. Because this thing is in demand and supply is so low, you can't get an accurate reading of what the value is for this thing. I've been seeing prices on Amazon anywhere from $99 for a used one to $300 bucks for a new one with accessories. This thing brings like a lot of memories. So what did the Nintendo, this is an approved Nintendo uh, device that has the seal right here. Anyone can make that seal though, but it's an official Nintendo product. What they did was bring back some of these retro games for either 80s, 90s kids or for the new generation that probably forgot or didn't have the opportunity to play these games as a child. So this is pretty cool. The form factor I can tell you right now is going to be pretty small because uh, I remember the original uh, NES and Super NES and just the console alone was bigger than this box. So this is a, a pretty cool small device. So I remember back in the days we would screw it into a, a cable port behind the, uh, the television. So what they did was pretty much make this smaller. I'm sure they kept the graphics the same. I think this is an 8-bit uh, system. The great thing about technology now is that processors and memory modules are very small and can hold a lot of information. So what they did was the old school version, you had to buy separate cartridges, if you remember those. Now, with this technology and built-in memory, you can have games actually built into the console. And that's what we have here. We have 20 games built into this console. This plugs right into your HDMI port. And there you go. You're off to the races playing games for hours at a time. So let's look at some of the games here. As I said, 20 games. Uh, it comes with two controllers. What we have right here on the side are some extensions. Um, last year, the original NES system came back and that was the hot item of the year for Christmas and New Year's. And the problem they had with those were the cords were a little bit too short. People had to sit really close to the television and nowadays people have TVs anywhere from 39 inch to 75 inches. So sitting that close to the television isn't the best thing. So the cords in here should be a little bit longer, but I also received some extensions so I can sit further away from the TV probably sit on the couch or the sectional and still be able to control and play my games. So let's talk about the games. We have 20 games here. I don't know if they're all listed here. Uh, Contra Tree, which is pretty cool. I remember Contra, the original Contra. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3. That's pretty cool. F-Zero, uh, Kirby's Dream Course, Kirby Superstar, Mega Man, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, that's pretty cool, that's going to be fun. Uh, Super Castlevania 4, uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, that's Legends of the Seven Stars. Mario, or oh, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, that should be cool. Super Punch-Out, that's awesome. Uh, Legend of Zelda, of course, is classic. And Yoshi's Island. So, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so let's open this up. Uh, you have a classic box right here. So really no need for an unboxing knife. Um, the box looks like something that you would see in the early 90s, actually. Uh, doesn't seem too fancy at all. Looks like just a regular box with a picture of the console. Uh, they kept the same colors. Looks pretty good. And you have some other branding and stuff on the side here in different languages. Um, shows you how small it is right now, fits in the palm of your hand. So that is going to be pretty awesome to uh, see how small it is, actually. All right, so let's open this up. I don't need a knife, as I said before. have a tab right here. Open that tab up. Lift this up. And in my fashion, you'll see it first before I see it. All right, nothing, that's a cardboard box. Wow, pretty cool. All right, nothing else is in there. Here's your packaging right here. The first thing I see is a manual with a Nintendo logo on there. 
Um, might be cool to read that. Super Mario World. I guess there's some games, some introduction to the games and how to play them or what the game is about. Anyways, let's go with these side items here. So this is your brick. And I guess it uses a USB style of power. That would be your controller. Nothing crazy with the uh, with the pack in here. If memory serves me correct, this is pretty much almost the same size that they used to be back in the day. I was hoping that they won't change the size. Or you minimize the console, but you don't want to minimize the controller so it fits the same way in the hand. Uh, the buttons feel pretty good. Here's the other controller. We'll take that out as well. Just as great. So USB to micro USB. So this could be powered via a battery bank or a laptop, which is always good for portability. If you want to use this, say, on a camping trip or somewhere where there's no um, outlets or plugs. And here is your HDMI cable. And that's pretty cool. HDMI to HDMI, no reduction there. So this would be good for any modern TV. If you don't have a modern TV and don't have a uh, HDMI port, then um, they do make adapters though. So you could get a, a HDMI adapter from HDMI to RC and that should still work in your television. And here's the big boy here or the main console here. And they were right, if it's in the palm of your hand, this is the actual console. And there it is, so pretty cool. Super NES, here's your power. You would move this up and it's in the same way how you would use it in the, in the past. That was power off and here's your reset to reset the whole um, device. And the back, you have your two ports, HDMI for your output to your TV and your micro USB to power it up. And I think that's it. It is so light. I mean, obviously, you know, technology has progressed so much since the uh, the 90s. Um, I'm sure this can fit in your cell phone or even a smartwatch nowadays. So that's what it looks like. There's nothing else left to do. We just got to plug this up into the TV and uh, let it rip. Setting up the Super NES Classic is fairly simple. Here's our console. Here's your brick. You probably need that your power cable. So let's do the power cable first. This end plugs in behind console and your HDMI cable is the same on both ends. So one end goes into your TV, one end goes into your console. This end goes into your, so this end goes into your console and the other end goes into your TV right here. I am gonna put this console in between my two devices down here. Okay, so I'll just plug this end into my brick here. And this end goes into a free port on my television. And the last thing is just plug this into your power outlet. And that's plugged in. So my console is right here. And all I have to do is plug this into the front. Actually, right, so this cable is fairly long. Let's see here. It still might not reach us. So that's why we have the extensions right here. And there's a little door right here, a flap. You just pull this out and boom, one goes here. Here's my other extension cable for my controller. So now I can just leave my console right here. It looks so tiny compared to my PS3 and an old school VCR. I don't know if you guys remember those. VHS. Other one goes right here. Now we just plug the controller into the other end right here. And that extends your controller to your couch, which is where we'll be playing. Same as the other one, plug in here. And voila, we are good to go as far as, as controller is concerned. So I'm gonna change the input on the TV. In my case, it's input four, and I will power this up. Just if you remember this, so I just pull this down, I guess, and it comes on. There you go, that should be powered. There's a red light here. 
And there you go. <laughs> All right, so we'll play this game with some games and see how it goes. All right, guys, we're here in the living room now. Consoles all set up. Got Booski here. <laughs> all right, so we got a couple games here. Contra 3, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, F0, that's a racing game. All right, so she's used to this console because this was around her time. Let's see here. I'm going to hit the start here. 92. Doing the, don't want to show my age. All right, so the first thing I notice here is that it's not full screen. I have a 50 inch 1080p screen, and as you can see here, the screen is not full. So although it uses the HDMI port, it's not full screen. So I mean, I guess that's understandable. So it's probably 480. Two player game, Mario Kart GP or match me and you match. You want the full, the full Mario Kart with all the computer players, or you would just want me against you? All right, so we're gonna do that one. So we do the small engine class, the 50cc. And is this okay? Yes, it's okay. Choose your player. I'm looking at this and I like, I can't even imagine what the other one was like because this is like, feels so retro. Hit again to select it. Here you go, we're good to go. So directional pad. I guess she selected it. So both controllers work. You're in the bottom screen. I'm the top screen. I'm guessing this is gas. I'm guessing B. Okay. So we can take it easy. See? And just move. And then what else? See? All right. Cool. So you can hop with just the top buttons right here. And then you have your directional pad. So let's chat. Let's go. I'm behind of you. So I'm catching up to Booski here. Off road. <laughs> Sliding around everywhere. Drifting. Lap two. I want to try and pass these guys. Oh, yep. Some dirt, sand. Third, lap three. I'm catching up. Oh man. I'm in fifth place now. This is 16 bit. 16 bit. I think it's 16 bit. Final lap, boo. Oh, come on. All right, fourth place. What place are you in? Uh, last. All right, it's not bad. You passed it on, so you're in seventh place. All right, so first impressions on this. When I unboxed this initially, I thought the controls, the ergonomics was going to be pretty cool. Obviously, I, I like the fact that the controls are the same size. They didn't shrink it or alter it in any way. Um, but having come from the PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, all these uh, Sony controllers, those are a lot more ergonomically designed for your hand. Um, and there's no real like soft material, soft padding on this either. So it's just a hard plastic um, the entire way. All right, let's try another game. I don't know how to get out of it. This is round two. Start. No, start's gonna make it start. I'm gonna pause it. Give up? Yes, I wanna give up. And. All right, so I'm gonna guess we'll have to hit the reset button. Back in the days, you had to go up there and reset it. Here it is. Reset. 
And that was quick, so there you go. Display, let's see the display as you said. I can't even select it. CRT, pixel perfect. So yeah, you have the option of, that's pretty cool. 4.3 is what a regular TV screen would be back in the day, your tube um, TV. Same thing with the, TR, the CRT, but the CRT gives you those lines like you're really retro. Um, and then you have the pixel perfect, which is like clear. And here's your frame. So it's not gonna be a full screen regardless. Hit back. Settings, see what's going on there. Burning reduction, so yeah, all right, that's fine. Hit the back button. Language, manuals. All right, so I think that's all we can do as far as, which is fine, not much. All right, Street Fighter, a classic here. Ryu or Ken? Hmm, those are the two most famous characters for this game. Let's go with Ryu. All right, so we're gonna be in Japan. Well, this is the whole point. You get to experiment, you know? All right, you ready? You're hitting me, you're, you're killing me. All right, let's go. See, she's killing me. All right. All right, Chun Lee. You want one girl? Let me win. All right, I'll let you win. Let's see if I can do my. Okay, how do you do that? All right, this time I didn't let you. I didn't let you in. Good job. How's that going? So could you play this, this game for hours at a time? Probably. Quit dog. Yeah, quit. you can't quit. You'll play this for hours at a time until midnight. This is what we did. Yes, this is Nintendo Entertainment System. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty cool. It brings me back a lot, really. Bring me back to my childhood and um, what a bad system. You have all these games and stuff, and the the form factor is really cool. You know, it's very small, and the fact that you can have all these games in one console is great. Obviously, um, these aren't to the standard of like you know a PlayStation or Xbox. You know, so besides that. I think it's a cool device, you know. I don't know if everyone needs this. I think this would be great for a, a gift to give to the kids nowadays. Uh, kids who probably didn't have these games in the um, 80s and 90s, but uh, they can play it, they can see what it is, and yeah, they can choose a lot of games. I mean, it's, I think you're paying for the technology and the nostalgia of the, the name of the game, because I mean, you have, what, 20 games in here built into it, so you must pay for uh, games all the time. So that's pretty cool. And then we see some of this weird stuff. They may not like the graphics on it. They may not like kind of how basic it is um, and the controller, but for the most part, I think it works. And it, it is realistic, as, you know, or authentic to the original product. So um, I think that's a good thing. So I think on a scale of uh, one of five, this thing gets maybe I say a four lows out of five. Uh, the build quality is good, it's very small. It is true to the original product, but I can't see myself playing this for maybe more than three hours at a time just because of the ergonomics and the lack of depth of interaction or depth of the game. So it's very straightforward, two-dimensional, where you're just either fighting or, or you know, trying to get to some course. I think we're used to all the new technology now. With that said, it's still pretty good. I like it. Uh, this is kind of hard to get right now. 
the prices range anywhere from $99 to I think two, three hundred bucks. So depends where you get it from. All right, guys, I think we'll wrap it up here. Bakery approved. If you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace. It is, the dog is about to play right now, which is pretty cool.